What's up folks, welcome to the Biscorn. In this video we picked up the United States of America, Canada and Mexico, made them in one and as you see we got these beautiful places. With a 12,000 cash flow, 40,000 gold and so on. What we're gonna do today, as I said if you watch my previous video you know what's gonna go today, be about today. What I will recommend you to watch this video absolutely to the end because in this video we're gonna make something insane that never done, never will be done maybe after a video. And never even wasn't a thought of someone to do. Well, today we will try to take down a country by using a ultimatum. We will make them literally our vassal. All the country that are going to attack us gonna be our vassal. That way is gonna be for us the second way and the mainly way to build up our economy. There is no alliance, we can't use any connection because we are the biggest right now. Thank you guys for coming here. What I will tell you to watch this video until the end. Make sure that you subscribe and enable the notification button because the next video is gonna be freaking interesting. If you wish this up, I'm sorry about you. Let's get started. As you can see, we have a zero farm library and supply camp. Everything that you build here takes your money from first, but you're active. No matter what, the little investments are turning into your biggest assets. As you see, from the beginning, some countries are becoming a great with you and some not, not what I will try to do I overthought it we will have an alliance with the France because France is the really great getaway for us to the Europe we should definitely improve our economy let's see what happens as you see from the beginning we had a great relationship with the France by giving them some money and of course the countries that I had the great relationship also with the friends that they had the same political vision got a great relationship with me also and also the England as you see said no to me it's normal what we're gonna do now we should absolutely focus on building and improving our economy because once we are created the army we will lose cash flow in order to keep cash flow sustainable we need actives that are gonna pay us even during the wartime we're gonna build everything here. Supply camps, libraries, farms, watchtowers, even a castle. Everything has a matter. Castle and library will help you to make people a lot in a province. People will see, oh my goodness, this is a Washington here. Has everything for living. Why not? As you can see, when we started, our cash flow was at 12,000, which is now going up by 13. Our economy equals to the 294,000 which makes us the first in the world, second comes somehow India. Whatever I'm telling, whatever I say in this game is a game purpose. I want you to know this and don't take personal anything which is said in this game. As you can see, when we started, we started to build provinces. I will make this video part the fastest so that you will not lose your time here. Let's do it.
As you see guys, we are somehow started a war with Russia. But another great news is that we are going up from 13,000 or let's make it 12,000 to the 16,000. It's 15 now because if I send a Navy SEAL through the sea, which is taking of course a lot of energy and time. Also the money. As you see, the Russia has a really great economy. What we're gonna do, we will ask for peace of negotiations that we're gonna stop it. But Russia is not stopping. That's very, very hard. What we're gonna do, as I said, we will use everything to stop Russia. But if we will not be able to do it, it's okay. We're gonna find out how to do it. As you see, if Russia attacks me with that amount of army, it means that Russia forgotten to make improve their country. That means it's really nice. As the United States of America, we of course gonna show our power with the, to the Russia. To make Russia stay a little bit calm. We will deny every offer from the France because the offer that France is giving to me is going to take down the economy of the United States of America. Let's see what happens. I send a Navy SEAL through the water again and which just took out my economy a little bit down. And I also got a technological point even during the wartime because of my assets. We're attacking the provinces of Russia with 10,000 army, which is really helping me right now. And we started attacking Russia and I'm absolutely sure if we will continuously do it, Russia will eventually stop. Also, we're gonna make Russia our vassal. <laughs> Let's see what happens, dude. It's really gonna be so weird if Russia will accept us to be my vassal. Oh my god! Oh, how Russia attacked me with 10,000 army? It's really great question. It's not even making me to think about it because if we are going to eliminate it in little in a short time, let's see what happens. As you see, Russia is not even able to do something more. It just got an opportunity that I didn't have army in these provinces, which I'm gonna do it in a disband if I will don't need it. Done. Now we're going to attack it. Usually I'm not talking during the war, but this war is really crucial and unplanned. But it's okay when you're starting newly. Done. What we're gonna do right now, we will ask Russia friendly again by giving their places back to them to become our vassal. But if we want Russia become our vassal, we need 466 points. That we're gonna achieve. If Russia has that power to achieve my plans, we're gonna make it. Why not? We're going to send army from this place. Until army arrives, we're going to even sacrifice our cash flow to fight with Russia. Russia got some army here, but the United States also got that. Great. United States also got the points and I absolutely know that the war that caused us with Russia is work of England. Oops. Absolutely guys, if you remember England sent me the negative thought we changed all strategy. As you see the US Navy still arriving to the Russia. Of course we're gonna deny everything from France. As you see guys, we are taking down huge Russia. We're jumping to the fire without thinking right now. I'm absolutely sure that with this army I ain't gonna be do nothing. I 
I'm absolutely sure also that Russia is sending its Navy SEAL through the water to the United States again. And I'm clearly absolutely sure that it's not gonna be successful. We are now growing up, and I'm absolutely sure that after war, Russia disbanded its army to get the cash flow back. Because it's now that it doesn't have that big economy to attack a cop with the United States of America. It's not easy. And when we will take Russia under our control, it's going to be very, very uneasy stuff. So see you at the end. Let's see the result. Result can be just like we want and just like we don't want. If we will be able to take Russia under our control, we are rich. We can control the cash flow anytime we're not taking any land from any country. See you at the end. As you can see guys, we're done with Russia and I asked it for war preparation. I don't even know what does that mean. If tell truth, but if you know, please explain it to me. But I actually approximately know what does that mean. That means that it's going to give me the back money. As you see, just give me the back money. Oh, I got it, yeah. Russia give me the money back. The money that I spent to war with it. And which means we're going to continue investing that money in our promises which means we got an inflation as you see which is 500,000 is a lot of money we're going to invest it in our promises and convert it to the actives that are going to pay me the money what we're going to do then we will attempt second time we will try to take down Russia again and this time we will do it very very hard we will ask for war preparements again at the end and plus, we will demand a vassalization. If we will be able to do it, we almost got everything. First thing is taking down Russia, but not taking its places. We have to take Russia under our vassalization and then we should thinking about how we should keep Russia inside that vassalization. Very, very comfortable convenience. You got it? Great. A lot of countries started to respect us because of our great economy and strong strategy. As you see, almost all money that I got in the war that Russia paid me back um, investing in my provinces. Which means I'm getting a lot of cash flow. Maybe I'm not able to take bad cash flow because of my army that I generated in Europe. But it's okay.
as you see I'm using almost all my cash flow to build up what army and send it to the Russia I'm so very careful to not spoil nothing I also will build the actives in the capital of Canada as you see after a couple of turns armor is available now which means I'm going to absolutely use it and now the farm is a second level because of I'm sustainably growing technological points which is giving me a lot of opportunities and now you see the, 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 the England got a very great relationship with me again I don't know how does that work Now we're building everything we have to build because of everything will be very expensive. First we will start from Washington, building your workshops, farms and then armory. And then we will go to the Mexican capital and we'll build there also the workshop, armory and other stuff that we didn't build it. Done. And now we will establish these points, grow it sustainably, also take care of other lands. Great. As you see, we got a 40,000 army which is waiting for Russia invasion. We will invade Russia and do everything as we plan to do. We will send army here which will take down our cash flow as you see. Sending army through the water will take down your cash flow extremely a lot. So be careful. As you see our army standing here and waiting for my order. And also Russia got very very bad relationship with me. What I will do I will demand a vassalization which Russia absolutely denied. So, what we're gonna do, our next plan is to be absolutely ready. I don't want Russia to attack me again and take my army out. I want Russia to become my vassal, done. As you see, our country gone to the minus, which is so, so bad, but, the assets that I created are going to take me out from that event. Slowly, we're going to back to the normal situation. But to get rid of it faster, we should definitely declare war with Russia. Because if we will make it, we also will get a chance to take everything out. For example, as you see, I have one my I lost the army, I got it. Cash flow. Great. We'll send a lot of amount of army down and a little bit up. And another army will go here. Let's see what happens. If something will go just like we didn't plan, we will also find a way how to make it happen work for us we attacked very very tremendously Russia and in this time I'm absolutely sure that we will take Russia down fully let's see what happens at the end
right guys as you can see what happened right now we just defeated russia let's see if it happens great as you can see we actually entered to the war with china we did it what we're gonna do right now we will keep russia under us the reason why china started a war with me just because we let russia to take their own lands back and this was our great plan the next plan is to destroy China but China will be destroyed in the next video as you can see we said and done now Russia is under our control and Russia now pays us more 2,000 gold per turn and we are now war with Azerbaijan and also with China and we will take that country's down. So thank you guys for watching, for coming here. Next video is gonna be very, very nice. All what you have to do is stay with me. Goodbye.